they always call me a dainty princess. I like it sometimes, but that was ridiculous. <laughs> Welcome back. I hope you're having a wonderful start to November. I'm so excited that Mr. Abigail is coming to visit me for my 21st birthday in a few days. Also, happy birthday to all the other November babies. Today we are going to be watching when Amber and the Grim Feeder had a breakup situation type deal. Very sad. Very emotional. Hold on to your 6X torrid panties for this one. But first, let's see some babies. We have Bunny Girl, Baby Girl, Tiny Girl, Bun Buns on the left, and then we have Snow Boots on the right. She was snoozing after a big biscuit order. Also, I apologize if I still sound congested. I'm still a little bit sick. And next we have Deacon on the left, licking his lips after a big crunchy meal, and Saul on the right. Look at that mustache. Without much else to say, thank y'all so much for being here, and let's get right into it. Video 1, Addressing the Rumors Hello guys, welcome to a new video. Hello. So, I might get emotional and I really don't want to. I have been doing my fair share of crying for sure. Sure it looks it. I'm just having like genuinely a hard time. As you guys know, I met my girlfriend in person and like, for the lack of a better word, like it was just magical. Brother, ugh. Like truly magical and it just, I haven't felt that happy in forever. Sorry. You know, finally being with someone like, that I feel like isn't ashamed of me, like it just felt really good. Instagram as you guys saw I also posted her on TikTok and I can't even tell you how much support we got like it was a lot like majority of you are literally the sweetest like ever and you are a respectful piece of shit so thank you like from the both of us truly like a lot of you saw the happiness and saw the love just in a 16 second clip so thank you for that like Trust me, there's a lot of it. A lot of love, a lot of happiness, a lot of joy when we're together. Like, it just, it feels magical to me. And it's like, you guys know, I don't post my girlfriends online. <laughs> I'm editing that out, like, Because people are crazy. <laughs> people ruin it. They absolutely ruin it without a doubt. But I remember there was a discussion that me and my girlfriend had. She literally asked me like, is it important for you that your partner is in your videos? And I said, in fairy tale world, yes. Like, yeah, that would be really nice for me. But realistically, I would understand if my partner did not want to be in my videos. I will never force someone to do that. And she said literally because it's important to me, that's why she would be willing to be in my videos and it just meant a lot it was very like selfless of her that's just one example of like the way that she loves me like when you see something that's important to your partner you kind of want to like make that happen for them and she wanted to do that for me and i thought that was super sweet so we were super excited to post that video on instagram and tiktok and again the love and support has been just so appreciated but then there has been a lot that has happened since I posted it and it's literally just a 16 second clip and it has validated every fear that I've ever had about showing a partner on my videos or just on social media in general. There are so many rumors being made up about her, things that are just like wild. Uh -huh. 
obviously I have not heard every single rumor so I can't sit here and deny or confirm every single thing because literally it's just a lot. But I do want to talk about some of the rumors that I have heard because I feel like that's super important. So the first thing is, no, she is not a feeder. I mean, I am dumb, so that probably explains why. People think that she's a feeder and she's definitely not that. Sure, Jan. Like, yes, she has a specific type, but I'm letting you guys know that like every single person that I've been in a relationship with, everyone that you guys have known, they said that they prefer girls my size. That is a thing that all of my partners have had in common. I think that I don't, I don't know if I would ever actually be in a relationship with someone who didn't prefer bigger girls because it's like, I am really big. That person's light is making me look really, yeah, I look like a big cherry. <laughs> big? Big? Hush. Are you calling me big? No, I'll talk about me. Everybody's like, oh, Becky the thumb. And I wouldn't see someone who prefers like smaller girls to be in a relationship with me. That probably would never happen. So nine times out of 10, when someone my size is in a relationship, it's more than likely because I am that person's type. There's also rumors going around that she has STDs, specifically herpes, which is freaking insane. Specifically herpes, which is freaking insane and absolutely not true. I don't understand STD shaming anyways. I think that's wild to me, but that's a whole other topic. But no, she does not have herpes. That's crazy. She actually has a really great life. She's never asked me for money. This is actually a topic that I brought up with her was like, you've never asked me like how much money I make, nothing. Like she has never talked to me about money ever. I'm the one who actually brought it up because I was shocked by it. She was here for four days and she bought majority of everything for us. And it's just like, people think that she's using me for money. Nope. She's extremely independent and I find that to be pretty attractive, not gonna lie. So those are like the main rumors and I'm telling you guys, majority of the rumors that you're hearing are absolutely untrue. There is this one thing that's floating around of this girl saying how like my girlfriend messaged her, you know, weeks ago. It wasn't weeks ago, it was months ago. It was even before me and my girlfriend even started talking. And that literally means nothing to me. Like, yes, people have a past. Like I was in a whole ass relationship before I met this girl. Like there is a such thing as like flirting and dating around and like trying to find your person. Like I will never judge her for that. I think that's just, it's really weird that that would even be like a topic of discussion of like, oh my God, Amberlynn's girlfriend has talked to other girls in the past. Like, duh, we, we all have. Like literally I've been in how many relationships? One billion. Also like bringing in people from her past or bringing in like, family members or bringing in like friends or whatever it may be is just crazy and it's not warranted. It doesn't need to happen. I just really want to protect her because her heart is so pure and genuine and beautiful. Like one of the actual greatest people I've ever known. And I will do anything in my power to protect her. Like this has been affecting her. She's not used to being in the spotlight like this, especially with so many people who like want to create drama or create content regarding her. Really ultimately it's people creating lies and rumors and it's affecting her. It's affecting me and it's not fair and it's not right. She's literally just trying to love me and have a relationship with me and she's being torn apart for it. So to protect her and to protect us and to protect our peace, I don't think I want her on camera anymore. And I don't think she wants to be on camera. Like we were going to share our relationship online. Like she was going to be in my videos and I really wanted that. And she wanted that. Like it was gonna be a moment for all of us. And I know how many people would have literally loved to see that. And I know there still are so many of you, majority of you are rooting for us now. And I appreciate that so much, but there is, a group of people who have ruined the possibility of something really great for this channel. And I know that I can carry on this channel by myself. I always have. Somehow I always make it through and I'm grateful for every single one of you who watch me. But like, it would have been fun to have another element. I know you guys would have loved that, but ultimately mental health comes first, people's well-being comes first, and 
I don't want anything to affect my girlfriend because she means the absolute world to me. I think that we just need to do better as people. I don't really know what else to say right now. Um, it just ultimately sucks really bad. And it's like, as much as I wanted people to do the right thing, I should have known that like, that wasn't gonna happen. And that's really sad, really. I don't really know when I'm gonna be filming again. I kind of just feel like defeated a little bit and it's just hard. So anyways, um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Goodbye. Video two, it's over. Hi guys. Hello. I look like crap because I feel like crap. I really don't even know what to say but like you guys don't know the full story at all and I think that's like the hardest part of this whole thing is like there is a big part of this story missing but I'm never going to sit there and talk about other people's personal things because that's not that's not me that's not who I am you're a lie you're a lie but because of this me and now my ex we are not together anymore and this has left her like debilitated like literally like her mental health has gone down so much i need people to know that like mental things are is scary like i think she's literally one of the greatest people and it's like to see people say things that are not true at all like, it's not surprising. That's literally what people do. That's what they've done my whole freaking YouTube career. And for these people to act like they care about me now, yes, I know there are thousands of you who love me and support me and wanna see me happy. And I appreciate those messages. Like, you guys have no idea. Like, I feel it. But all of these people who act like they care about me and they're worried about me, Bull, bull, like you guys have never wanted to see me happy. There are so many of you who love to see me miserable and you're getting that. You want again, you literally want again. What's happening is not okay. Like it's not, and this is the very fucking reason why I don't want to show people in my videos. It has nothing to do with me and everything to do with so many of you. I am talking to a big part of you, but I'm not talking to all of you. So I need that to be like fully known. Like I know there are a lot of people who love and support me. No way. I want to see the receipts. Like, I know that, but like right now, that is not being heard. As much as I feel it, what is really being heard is like, y'all are ruining someone's life who does not deserve it. Like, it is freaking crazy what is happening right now. You guys have interfered with my life. Like, if you guys knew the full story, you'd be like, oh, wait a minute. But you don't, and you'll never know. But like to find out all this fucking shit and then make your own narrative with it and say that I'm in danger, you guys have no idea what you're talking about. This has pushed me away, completely pushed me away. I don't think I'll be the same for a long time. Like truly a long time. Like this video is so raw, you guys, fuck. Because I had a future planned and I was happy and I was so fucking happy and so loved and now we aren't together anymore because like her mental health comes first and her safety comes first. I should have known something like this was gonna happen because nine times out of ten people make the smallest thing that I do or say or whatever it may be into like a fucking huge thing like I should have known, like, I should have known. I shouldn't have ever shared her. I shouldn't have done it. But we were so fucking happy and in love and on cloud nine, like, literally, like, I've never felt so loved before. And to have that taken from me because of people who actually hate me and that actually want to see me miserable, they don't care. Like, they don't care. 
No one cares! It's all just for fucking show and for drama and people monetizing and making money. Like, it's not fair. But I hope that these people are happy because not only did they ruin my life, but they're ruining someone else's life. And her mental health is not good right now and neither am I. Like, I'm literally, like, look at me. Like, I just am a fucking mess. Like, everything right now feels heavy and scary and it's just not okay. Like, I regret so badly ever sharing her. I know people are gonna watch this and just not give a fuck. They're just gonna roll their eyes and just not care. No one cares! I feel like my words don't matter to a lot of people or the way that I feel. They never have mattered. People watch me to just laugh at me and to hate me. And I'm realizing like, people just want to ruin my life and um, it worked. So people literally just don't think before they post. They're fucking just hungry <laughs> for the next drama, the next thing to make me look bad or to make someone I love look bad like that's just what they're waiting for and when they thought they found that they turned it into something way bigger than what it really is and you guys again do not know the full story and it's sad but you never will I really don't know what else to say besides I just I kind of just feel defeated and hopeless and I'm absolutely heartbroken like it's just the worst feeling in the world to go from being so fucking happy and like so sure of my feelings and my future to have that just ripped away from me over something that I didn't even do. Like that's like the hardest part. Video three, this has all gone way too far. Hey guys. Mm -hmm. So I originally had a different video that I was gonna have go up today. But I just feel like a lot is happening and it's super overwhelming. I don't I don't know, like I'm only one person over here. And it's just like so much is being said and I know legal terms love to be thrown around like slander, defamation. Nine times out of 10, people don't really know what they're talking about. But I feel like in the situations that have been happening recently, there is a lot of slander. There is a lot of defamation. Like there's a difference between like gossiping versus like downright straight up defamation. Rain and petals eavesdrop. I used the wrong word. Lies. Completely making up stories. Rain and petals eavesdrop. I used the wrong word. That aren't true at all. I told myself I would never talk about this to protect myself because it is scary because there's a lot that goes in it but like if i can somehow prove that i'm not lying that i'm going to do that i shouldn't have to i shouldn't have to stand here and do this like i honestly feel pathetic i feel triggered i feel just like youtube is ruining my life like truly ruining my life and i have gone through a lot <laughs> with youtube i've gone through a fucking lot i have had some serious high highs my ass is too big to fit in the chair i've had some serious low lows come here come here uh, <laughs> yeah uh -huh. that's such a fucking lie oh my god that is not but something about everything that's been happening it has hit different it has affected me differently than anything else ever has. And seeing what a large chunk of whatever this community is doing, seeing what you guys are doing has made me just not want to do YouTube anymore. And that scares me because that means I'm about to drastically change my life if I choose to take a step back. I really don't want to stand here and cry and be whiny. I don't want to do any of that because I do take partial credit into all of this. Years ago, I became a fucking troll, a huge troll. I almost asked for the negativity. Let's say I do gaslight my audience. Who freaking cares? Who cares? I'm not perfect. Especially like 2019, 2018, 2017. I almost asked for it. Any attention was good attention for me. Even if it was bad, 
even if it made me feel like shit. But as someone who's gonna be 34 years old, I regret that. I regret that side of me. But we do shit in our 20s that we regret. Unfortunately, it's like this is just staying with me. As much as I grow up, as much as I try to change, whether that just be in my personal life or on YouTube, you guys won't change with me. You guys aren't changing with me and I'm just, I'm just like stuck in this weird girl world, like Amberverse, negative, just like horrible space. And I wanna break up with it. I don't wanna be a part of it anymore and I just don't know what to do. Stepping away from any sort of job is hard and it takes time and thought and you need to figure out like, okay, so if I step away, what are my next steps? I have to figure that out. <laughs> I need to do it in private, but that's not what this is about. Amberland, why are your videos so boring? Like, why aren't people in your videos? Because of this. Amberland, why don't you show up at your job more? Why don't you put more effort into your videos? Because of this. Amberland, why do you like have an attitude towards reaction channels and to your audience? Because of this. Still through it all, I have been able to manage a positive outlook on life whether you guys see that or not. I try my hardest in my real life to be happy and bubbly and positive, but I feel like I'm losing sight of that person. Like the person that I tried so hard to be. I just want to be a healthy person. Especially once I moved to Oklahoma and moved in by myself. Like I felt myself changing and being better and improving in multiple different ways and now I just feel myself backtracking and that scares me and I don't want to be in that position. It's just like everyone in this situation is fucking hurting and feeling the gravity of it while hundreds of people get to just sit back and watch it as if it's entertainment. These are real lives being messed with. <laughs> real lives. I can't sit back and let it happen and watch it happen. I can't support it. I can't condone it. Never would. And I know a lot of you don't either. Like I'm getting so many messages on Instagram every single day of people that are literal, even haters that are like, this isn't right. Like what you're going through is not okay. Something I have very strongly learned and I have known from the beginning, reaction channels don't care about me. Neither do the haters. All they care about how many views they can get, how much money they can make. And the only way they can do that is by disliking every single thing that I do, nitpicking every single thing that I do, creating drama and fake stories around every single part of my life and doing it consistently. And that consistently has been wearing at me for years and years and years. And this is finally the straw that broke the camel's back. Two hours later. So I'm eating salami. <laughs> That's acting. Alright, you guys are about to meet Thomas Salamis. <laughs> okay, you guys are about to meet someone that makes me genuinely so happy. <laughs> so I literally haven't vlogged anything. We just left uh, Dave and Buster's. We played at the arcade, obviously. Super fun. We got a drink. It's just been really fun. We've had a really good time. We both got matching bracelets because um, we had like 1,400 tickets that we won. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. Why isn't the full blast working? Because you gotta close the door. Oh, you can't have the AC with the door open? Probably not. What kind of car? It's blowing. Oh, it's working. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Oh, wow. Damn, that's my girlfriend. I am your girlfriend. <laughs> Alright, so we're about to try their freeze-dried marshmallows. I've always wanted to try one, so they're like mini. So we're gonna do a taste test. Ready? <laughs> what is that? Look, that vibrated through my skull. <laughs> that is the weirdest texture. Mm, I don't know if I like it. I don't like it. I don't like the way it makes my teeth feel. What's your teeth feel like? Oh, <laughs> oh wait, listen. Like scratchy. Listen, you guys. Ew! 
That's a no. It tastes <laughs> good though. Yeah, the taste is good. It's like the little marshmallows on a hot chocolate. <laughs> is not she the cutest? <laughs> the drama-filled breakup between Slums and Amber. This happened not too long ago, as y'all know, but I figured I'd cover it and add some humor. Thank y'all so much for watching and know that I'm so grateful for you. Bye-bye!